welcome back for another Help Me Rhonda episode. This week's question is a tough one. As a matter of fact, I don't think you guys are going to like my answer. But I believe in honesty, I believe in being truthful, and I believe in not fluffing you up um, just to let you hear what you want to hear. So let me ask, um, let me uh, tell you the question, and then I'll give you my answer. All right. Dear Rhonda, I probably am asking more than you intended, but I would like to actually make money from my blog. I put so much time and effort into it, but have only had about two or three sales from it over the past year and a half, and I've had it up. My business is really from my classes. Are there any quick hints you can give me to make money from a blog? This is from Peggy. Peggy, I get asked this question a lot. Everybody wants to run an online business because from the outside looking in, it looks easy. Like, oh my gosh, I could do that. I could, you know, post every day and, and I'd be happy to sit back and take the sales. But the truth is, um, my answer to you is a year and a half is not a very long time. Keep going. Keep at it. Keep being consistent. If you truly would like to make money from your blog, it takes absolutely years and years and years of consistent, of consistent effort, of serving your customers and building a brand and a reputation. It doesn't just happen overnight. It doesn't even just happen in a year or a year and a half's time. Um, it does require you to serve your customers without making money for a, a quite a long time. It, it, it takes for you to build up that reputation. There's a couple of things, though, I am going to encourage you to do. By no means do I tell you that I know this all. Um, blogging is a huge world. It's, it's so much out there, both technical and, and creatively speaking. But I'm going to give you a few dumbed down hints to help make this happen for you. Because personally, I do make money from my blog. And I have been trying for many, many years. And I have been doing research and learning and um, more research and talking and asking and implementing. And I've also seen many other people who do it and do it well. And, and probably the more common one are ones that are struggling just like you. Very rarely does it happen where someone starts a blog and in a year and a half they are making money from it. Um, the, 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 most of, of the demonstrators that you know who are making money from their blog have been blogging for four, five, six, seven, eight years or more and doing videos for, for that long time. So my first um, idea for you is to keep going, keep being consistent. If you truly love this and are passionate about it and really want it to happen, then you need to keep working at it. The second thing is that you need to look at your blog as if it's a classroom. Just showing pictures of cards, just sticking up, you know, contents and supply items is not going to make people want to, to buy from you or order what you have. So, for example, if I ran my classes face to face, or if you did, and I had everybody come and I just said, look at my cards, aren't they pretty? Don't you want to buy everything to make them? And then turn and have them walk away. There, the answer to that is no, and I wouldn't have many people continue to keep coming to my classes. Um, so you need to look at your blog exactly the same way. You need to teach them how to stamp. That means videos are one way to do that. Tutorials. You need to take good pictures that um, people can actually learn from and learn how to make things, learn how to do techniques, how to use the product. Um, those are the blogs that people um, will actually order from. So I want you to start looking at your blog, looking at your platform that you use as a class and actually teaching them how to use something specific and then having a call to action, giving them the supply list with item codes and encouraging them to purchase it. So that's one thing for you to sometimes switch. I see blogs that are beautiful and everybody's sharing Stampin' Up's promotions on there and they're sharing samples, but people are just going to come and look. The blogs that continue to produce an income are actually more like little mini classrooms. 
The second thing that I find where you can quickly make money from your blog, much quicker than just collecting orders, is actually having something to sell, something specific, an online class. I do all of my classes to go. Um, where I will do a class face to face and then I'll offer it to go. So there's actually something that they're purchasing from me and then I can fulfill that. Now what makes it special is that I'm the only one who's offering that. It's not just the Stampin' Up! product that they can get from any demonstrator or from straight from the company. They actually have to go through me and I'm offering something special and that's my creativity and my artwork. So a stamp set of the month club, a virtual club, um, a class to go. It does take a little bit more work because you have to do the prep work, but it's great because it does help your sales because it will include um, consumables that you can cut up and prepare for them. I will give them a supply list of some supplies they will need at home. But I try very hard to come up with online classes and classes to go that require very little stamping, but more punch work, big shot work, and paperwork that I can do at home. I charge them accordingly. They have to pay for shipping and they have to pay for tax. And what they get from me is the product all cut and ready. And then they can sit home with my tutorial, with my video, and create. So again, I'm acting like a classroom where they're going to be able to make some finished product. So my encouragement to you is start offering something that they have to purchase from you. If you're doing a class, consider offering it to go. Consider offering it online. I would highly encourage that you continue to get your sales this way. So sometimes if you're going to do just a tutorial or just a video for them, then I would recommend that they have to put in an order with you, a minimum order, and they get it all for free. So that way you're growing your sales and you're growing your income. Or actually pricing it out, maybe a $45 class, and it will include the products that they need to complete the project at home when you ship them the, the product. So there is a quicker way because you are offering something unique and something different. Um, you have to look at that when you're online, you have to find your niche, your, your brand, you have to find what's going to set you apart. And every one of us is very unique in how we present things and what we do. So to answer your question, there is no get-rich-quick scheme online. It's all about years and years of hard work. My friends who are very successful online have put in countless hours and still do. They work probably twice as hard sometimes as a face-to-face -face demonstrator and um, sometimes for many years with no effort. I'm not saying that to discourage you because they love what they do. They love working on the computer. They love interacting. They, um, customer service is of utmost importance when you're working online. Following up with thank you cards, handling issues immediately, so I want to encourage you to keep going, keep it consistent, offering something unique and different that is just that you will do. Um, again, there's lots of different ideas, but make it your own. Good luck, Peggy, and good luck to all of you. Use your blog to support your business, and just know that it takes time, and be willing to invest that time so maybe a year from now you can be producing some income from something that you love sharing so much. Make it your classroom. Make them have to come to your blog to learn things, not just look at pretty projects. You want to teach them. Then they'll have to continue to want to come back to see whatever you come up with next.